What did you think of it? Well, I don't. I think it's more of the same. How can you uh, buy up equities with debt? They don't have any money. They just create the money out of thin air. They talk about recapitalization, and they're using debt. Capital in the capitalist system comes from savings. We have zero savings. That's how we got into this problem. But to just spend another $700 billion or whatever and claim you can buy up uh, illiquid assets, illiquid assets are worthless assets is what they are. So this, this will do nothing more than just show how panicked they are. Every time they announce one of these, the markets realize that they're just thrashing about, and they panic, and they sell their stocks because they don't know what the devil they're doing. They're socializing now, the entire financial system. Is it that far, Ron Paul? Is it, is it the fact that they are putting a little bit of, of U.S. capital or taxpayer money into helping out, providing a little more liquidity to the banks? Is it that, or do you really suspect that there's something bigger afoot here? I mean, do you think there's a conspiracy to take over all the banks? Well, no, they just have a plan. They believe in socialism, and I, and, and I don't. But I think there is something very, very big going on. I think this is the end of a monetary system that started in 1971, and it, was, uh, it, it has allowed the dollar to be king, and the dollar hegemony is ending. And they're rushing. Everybody's interest is propping up the system because everybody holds dollars. That, that's what's in the reserves. So they're frantically trying to get together, and that's why this is becoming international. And, boy, I'm worried about this weekend. What are they going to come up with? They're going to come up with a new idea, probably one central bank for the world. So this, this is not good, and they take this and they build up the panic and build up the fear to do terrible things. They do it in foreign policy. They do it after 9-11 to undermine our system, undermine our freedoms, and now they're going to take over all private ownership. Why don't they allow the correction to occur? Why don't the, the – there's bad debt out there, and you can't prop up bad debt. They're doing exactly what we did in the Depression, keep the prices high. The prices of houses have to come down, and we don't need to stimulate housing. They talk about stimulating housing and keep prices of housing up. It's the worst thing in the world to do. That was like keeping farm products high during the Depression by plowing crops under. I don't think we've learned a thing from the Depression because we have no confidence or understanding how the capitalist system is supposed to work.